So the Justice Department is actually investigating whether hundreds of FBI agents uh, may have cheated on a test of the Bureau's broad new intelligence gathering authorities. These are the authorities that uh, allow the, the Bureau to conduct surveillance uh, and open cases even without any evidence that a crime has been committed. And you know these rules are somewhat controversial because these are rules that uh, civil rights groups and members of Congress are concerned would allow the Bureau to open cases against uh, civil rights groups, religious organizations, um, you know, war protesters, anybody you know who fits a racial profile, and you know, the bureau has always said, no, 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 we're going to test and we're going to train our guys to make sure they know the rules, and and now it looks like some of the the agents may have been t cheating on that test, and and that has some concern that if if they if they're cheating on the test, then maybe they don't know the rules. It's a, a 51 question test, and the last question on the test was, did you get any help on this? So you're supposed to take the test alone. Um, but what people were doing was they were taking the test in groups. Um, in, in one instance, uh, uh, we were told that uh, agents actually printed up the test in advance and used it as a study guide. Um, a number of agents actually finished the test unusually quickly, um, which uh, is now being looked at as how, how do they finish that test so quickly. Um, this was, supposed, this was a, an open book test. They were allowed to use their own materials. They were allowed to, to bring things in. But, but they had to take the test alone, and, and that was one of the, the, real, uh, the real concerns here is that people appear to have taken the test together. The Bureau, unfortunately, has somewhat of a checkered past when it comes to conducting surveillance. You know, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, they were conducting surveillance on civil rights groups and war protesters. Um, and even after 9-11, the Bureau was collecting phone records and computer records without court orders. So this test is really important because it, it, it's, it's a test of the Bureau's understanding of what the limitations of their powers are. So FBI Director Robert Mueller was actually up on, the, uh, up on Capitol Hill today testifying and, and acknowledged to Congress that he's aware that there's an investigation. He says he's aware that there are allegations of, of people cheating, but he doesn't know how widespread it is. He's awaiting a report from the Inspector General. Um, but his acknowledgment that, that this could be widespread is the first acknowledgment of, you know, publicly about the size of the potential problem here.